Hello? <laughs> oh yeah, this guy's a real charmer. Wolf turned his fettuccine Alfredo in like two seconds and waited for me to offer to split the check. <laughs> Can you believe it? Hello? It's my battery. Um, I'll call you tomorrow. Okay. Bye. Let's begin our day with the assumption that I have nothing better to do with my life than to walk you through some statistics. I'd say that's a pretty safe assumption. Listen. The urban myth about crime rates and emergency room admissions peaking with the full moon is true. As anyone can see from these graphs, except maybe a mile Now, the lunar cycle definitely has an effect on everyone. Recently, Chicago's had an unusually high amount of murders happening around the full moon. Last month, 23 men and women were killed over a three-day period. And here's the statistic made real. Jennifer Helms, age 28. Unusual in that she was found only, uh, partly eaten. Full moons, victims being eaten. Are we talking about werewolves? Werewolves is the mythic term for lycanthrope lengths, thropes. Human slash animal hybrids that transform with the lunar cycle share physical characteristics with canines. In other words, werewolves. It's a contagious condition spread by a mutagenic virus that can be passed through the saliva. Like the flu. Yeah, O'Malley, if the flu destabilized your DNA and reverted your cell structure back to pre-human evolution savagery. So what kind of victims do they go after? Who's at risk? Anyone who's in the wrong place at the wrong time. Thropes move so fast, their footprints land yards apart. And they're so powerful. Their feet dig potholes in the asphalt. In other words, uh, good luck trying to catch these things. I'm staying home. Now, it is impossible to ID thropes in their human state. So tonight's full moon is our opportunity. Good luck. And hey, let's go monsters out there. So do you just have useless, smart-ass things to say this morning, or do you have any idea how to catch these things? How about one from column A and one from column B? O'Malley! I assume you plan on using Carl to help us locate where the Thropes will be hunting tonight? Well, I figure better he does the grunt work than us. Because I'm extremely aggravated with him. Well, that's generally the effect he has on people. I paged him several times to no effect. Which means he's probably doing something he shouldn't be. But I know where to find him. Oh. You know when you're under house arrest and they lock an electronic tracking device to your ankle? You put one on him. No. Well, I was worried he'd pick the lock and get it off, so I, I made him eat the transmitter. I figure we'll be able to find him for at least the next eight to ten hours, depending on what he had for breakfast. I don't want to hear the gory details, O'Malley. Yes, sir.
broke down all the crime scene evidence so far, judging from the footprints. Paw prints. Thank you. Found at the crime scene, throats hunt in packs like wolves. But unlike wolves, they devour people in the middle of Chicago. Doesn't matter if you're a man or a woman. Throats are equal opportunity killers. Crowbar's a nice look for you. So the paw prints confirm Radman's research. Throat packs always have ten members. So we have to find them all together. And we have to find them in the first place. What is your problem, O'Malley? I wasn't doing anything. You were casing the house. Uh, or did we catch you on the way out? I was absolutely not engaged in any criminal activity whatsoever. <laughs> you know, it must be so painful for you to live life as such a suspicious person. <laughs> this, this isn't burglary. It's a political statement. Mm -hmm. They're disrespecting my people. Right, listen, we need a lead on the throat attacks. I'll ask around when I get a chance. Well, when you know where they're gonna be hunting tonight. Or it's gnome croquet. All right, I'll ask around. <laughs> Listen, I need your help. There's a bunch of lycanthropes hunting the city lately, and I need to know where they're gonna be tonight. Well, forget it, then. What good are you? Hi, is Tiffany there? No? How about her sister? What's her name? Hello? Yeah, I'm looking for the lycanthropes, and I gotta know by tonight, because it's a full moon. No, not werewolves, lycanthropes. How are things looking for the lakefront savings shop? No, I can't help with the tunnel tonight. Maybe tomorrow. Let me know as soon as we're right underneath the vault. That's lycanthrope. L Y. See you later. Yeah, Eddie Carl. Uh, listen, I'm kind of under a time crunch here, but I need to know about these lycanthropes. You do? That's great. You know where they'll be tonight? As long as they don't know, you know. Got it. Thanks, Eddie. these things out of the park. Missed. These things fall ass. Too late. They did too fast. They're getting past us. Not all of them. One of them's moving into quadrant two. Hey, you, Kate. Risky and stupid. Nice work. If you got lucky with the lichen probe, thanks to me. Thanks to the special unit tactical team that put their lives on the line. And we were only able to catch one of the probes. It would have been none if I hadn't told you where to go. What do you want, Carl? What crime do you want me to overlook in exchange? Nothing. Just a little appreciation. Pardon my cynical nature, but I find that extremely suspicious. I haven't done anything you need to overlook. Lately. But I was thinking, if anything should come up in the immediate future, I hope you'll remember what a great help I've been. Fine. I'll lock you up for one life sentence instead of two. You're a generous man. They're ready in interrogation, sir. Get on the phone. 
Find your informant. See if he or it knows how to find the rest of the pack. All right. When the full moon passed, the throat you captured reverted back to human form. And we studied him for two weeks. There's no evidence he's anything other than 100% human. Well, except for the blood test, which show evidence of the lycanthrope virus. Believe it or not, he denies being a throat. <sighs> Even though we have videotape of his transformation. These things experience amnesia when they're in animal form, or is it just a strategy to deflect interrogation? I think I know how to find out. Meet Brace Kendall, powerhouse stockbroker at Kaufman, Richards and Kane. I thought you said he was completely human. I don't know who you people are. But I do know I don't have to talk to anyone without an attorney. Well, unfortunately for you, Mr. Kendall, your status as a cannibalistic lycanthrope supersedes your rights as a U.S. citizen. You're making a terrible mistake. I'm innocent. <gasps> We've never heard that one before. The only mistake we're talking about is you snacking on people. You know, where is that tape of his transformation? Wait another two weeks and these shackles won't hold me. Well, now I'd say that blows his cover. Give us the names of the other nine members of your pack, dog boy. We'll talk about what we can do for you. Don't waste your time trying to negotiate with me. I do it for a living. And I probably made more this year than you'll make in your entire life. Yeah, well, at least I don't turn into a Great Dane once a month. I don't feel pain. And in two weeks, I'll be strong enough to rip your heads off. So there's no benefit for me to deal here. I'm not giving you anything. Period. Here's my problem. I believe him. Plan B. Thanks for taking your time. Hey, those air vents were disgusting. We're talking rats. How'd they taste? I'm a vegetarian. Unlike yourself, I don't survive on the suffering of others. No, you just rob people blind. If you want to work, you want to insult each other all night. Give me a minute. Reset the alarms. Let's do it. Kendall and two other brokers in the firm have something in common. Once a month, they all take a three-day vacation. At the time of the full moon. You got it. Carl, put that back. Oh. I'm looking at Kendall and the other two brokers' client logs. Not only are they the top money makers, they work over a hundred hours a week and they never take lunch. Kendall hasn't slept or eaten since we arrested him. Well, Thropes must not need to when they're in human form. Hmm. Only downside is once a month you become a murderous man-eating psycho. But there's a lot of business guys that'd be happy to make that deal. Hi, Stan Lee. It's Craig Richards. Just got a message. You're only going 23 on the pork futures. I recommended 30. You mind telling me what the hell you think you're doing? I don't care what you thought, Stanley. That's what I do, and I do it better than you. You're not going to talk to my client that way when you're making that kind of money. You got a problem, take your account somewhere else. As long as you're happy getting your money market returns. Good. So we understand each other. Come on, don't apologize. Just let me do my job. Richards. Hey. Yeah, I just got on the phone with him. How'd it go? How'd it go? Not exactly the way I said it would. Hi, can I talk to Eddie? Oh, would you tell him I called? Oh. Oh. I'm sorry to hear that. Real sorry. How's it going at Lakefront? Well, you guys should have been in the vault last week. 
If the tunnel's taking too long, get more gnomes. Can't you guys do anything on your own? Carl! Gotta go. It was like he could smell us. He did. Lycanthropes have serious senses, even when it's not a full moon. Well, his name is Craig Richards. He's one of the three brokers from the firm we ID'd as Thropes. Problem is, ID'ing all the other members of the pack. They could be anybody. And arresting Craig won't help when you can't seem to get these things to talk. Thanks for pointing that out. Just trying to be helpful. And failing. We've looked closer at Craig and the other two we know about. Tried to see if phone records would lead us to the others, but nothing. Three down, seven to go. If we arrest the Thropes we know about, at least we have fewer to track down and kill. No, because when the pack finds itself short, it simply bites an infection of people with a virus. Which is irreversible if the victim isn't given major antivirus within a few days. Right. So we have to nail all the members of the pack or none. When we know that they can smell anyone who's not a throat a mile away? What about the informant who told us where the pack would be hunting the last full moon? Carl's connection. Eaton. All right, so we have to find some way of infiltrating the pack. So let's think outside of the box. Benson? O'Malley? O'Malley! There's no way he was getting out of the station house alive. What in the hell did you think you were doing? Thinking outside the box. guys give O'Malley a clean bill of health in terms of the attack. In fact, the bite will heal unusually fast. Here's why. His blood is completely saturated with the lycanthrope virus. But you can fix it, right? In terms of O'Malley, I'm pro spay and neuter. That's a funny, Sean. I'm talking about the antiviral therapy. Yeah, we can treat him as long as we have enough time. How much time? Hazy. Basically, Nick has to have enough of his human DNA left to treat. Once he makes the complete transformation to a throat, it's all over. So to be on the safe side? Five days during which O'Malley will start to exhibit the symptoms of infection. Heightened senses, increased speed, strength, aggression. Well, what if he doesn't manage to infiltrate the pack in this time? We pull him out. What if we can't? O'Malley was foolish enough to take this risk, and now he has to accept the consequences. Wait, you're all acting like this is simple when it's not. She's pissed at Nick for what he did. Or he's uh, thinking of a bigger potential problem. Which is? The uh, symptoms of the throat virus aren't all physical. Every day that goes by, Nick loses a little bit of himself, of what makes him human. Hey. Hey. I booked this time. How about getting lost? Feel like a match? Already meeting someone. In other words, you don't feel like getting your ass kicked. In other words, I don't feel like wasting my time. Whatever. <laughs> What's so funny? People who don't want to get beat. 500 to the winner. How about 1,000? I showed you mine. Show me yours. I left my wallet in the locker. I think this should do. These fakes are getting better. It's very funny. You won't be smiling pretty soon. Can't help it. I smell blood. You know how that is. <laughs> Let's play.
sure you're up to this? Usually I can tell a mile away. He must have just turned. Last month in New York, my law firm transferred me out here right after this. Uh -huh. Ready to go again? Thanks. Jeez. You scared me. I made contact with Craig Richards. What's he like? Exactly what you'd think. Total and complete white collar scum. You buy your cover story? Now he thinks I'm total and complete white collar scum, too. Good. Thank. I ordered it for you. No, thanks. I asked as many questions as I could without looking suspicious. And? Aside from the fact that you and a suit looks inherently suspicious. We've been right about everything so far. A few members of the Packer and Craig's firm, the rest are scattered throughout the city in different businesses. But no names? No. And I thought it was a little early to ask for the Throat membership list. It was just a question. You OK? Actually, it's pretty wild. It's like my senses have exploded. All the things you can see, hear, smell. So you're enjoying it? You actually worried I'm going to want to end up like that? Just making sure. So what's the next step? Craig wants to meet with me tonight. I don't know how many of the others he'll bring. Where? Doesn't matter. You can't cover me. They'll smell you. But relax. We have a few days. No, two days, OK? And if we can't ID all nine members of the pack by then, you're coming back out. Ten, including me. That was a joke, Kate. <sighs> Wasn't funny. We meet me back at the station house tonight after you meet with Craig. Sure. Promise me, Nick. Yes. I'll be there. What? You don't hear that? Hear what? I said everything! The ring too! Now! Next time you think about taking it all Nick! Man, think about this. Nick! I'll give him to the regular PD. You got it. Guys, I thought you were gonna kill that guy. You should have seen him. He could barely control himself. He wasn't apprehending a perp. He was hunting. God, it looked like he wanted to rip that mugger's head off. But Nick stopped himself. <sighs> barely. 100% expected. The throat virus is bringing him closer to his primitive instincts. Oh, like killing another human being in cold blood? He's got the pack animal instincts that's in the herd. Compete for limited resources. Kill or be killed. Is the antiviral treatment ready? Well, the medical people say it's just a matter of hooking O'Malley up to an IV for a few days at this point. Then bring O'Malley back in. Tonight. Yes, sir. Nice to see you, Nick. You're early. I always get to meetings ahead of time. Know your environment. The key to taking command of an interaction. Nick, Todd. Todd is the top litigator in the city under 30. Really? I was going to guess maybe second or third from the top. <laughs> it's just the two of us for now. We'll see if you get to meet the rest. The rest of the best? You got it. 
We mean it when we call it the gift. The gift of being the ultimate competitor. Of never having to eat or sleep or feel pity for the other guy you're negotiating with as you're absolutely drilling him into the ground. We only pick the ones who can handle it. That leaves us with a problem, Nick. You didn't pick me. We'll teach you how to use the gift. When you prove to us, you deserve it. What do you need me to do? How far up do you think we are, Nick? I was never good at math. 523 feet. I did OK with my verbals. Does this guy have a smart-ass answer for everything? So far. But we'll see. We're going to make a statement that's either true or false. It's up to you to determine which. I'm listening. The fact that you're almost one of us means that you can do a fire off this roof. Right now, jump 523 feet, land on your feet without a scratch. So, what do you think? True or false? I think if I don't jump off the roof, I get pushed. It doesn't matter if it's true or false. Very well intuited, Nick. Now, that being the case, what are we going to do, Nick? have the choice, you might as well have the guts. Not bad. Perversion. Full Moon was coming, and Kendall started exhibiting the first signs of changing into a throw. So the med team started giving him the antiviral to see if we could stop him from turning in. Oh, uh, you better check this out. They said he appeared to be in a lot of pain as the antiviral tried to fight off the throat virus. And lost. Actually, uh, the serum worked. It eliminated all the mutated cells from Kendall's body, leaving only the uh, human cells. But there weren't enough human ones left. Wait, wait, Sean. Does this mean the antiviral is going to do this to Nick? It means we don't know. Kendall's been a throat for six months. Nick hasn't. But this is definitely what's going to happen to him if we don't get to him in time. It's just me. Nick, what happened? Let me see you. No, I'm fine. You have to trust me. Where have you been? It's been two days since you made contact. The deadline on the antiviral was yesterday. Do you realize what kind of risk you're taking? The hunt's tomorrow night. The pack get together before they head out to kill. They'll be at the old zoo, all of them together in one place. No, you gotta forget about tomorrow night. You gotta come in now and get treated. I can't. Why? You won't catch them tomorrow night unless I'm there. Protect you. Is that the only reason? Or don't you want to come in? Don't. Nick. Don't worry, I'm fine. Promise me one thing. Tomorrow night, if it is too late for me, do what you have to do. Our weapons have always been effective against the throws. The problem was last time we couldn't actually track them. So they've outfitted the tactical team with infrared scopes. Better than that. These weapons are actually calibrated to lead the throws. Basically, they compute an incoming throw's position and velocity, take human reaction time into account, adjust accordingly... Will they give us a shot at killing throws before they kill us or not, Sean? Yes. But they won't be able to tell the difference between the rest of the pack and O'Malley. What 
100% containment. We know what we're facing and we're prepared in a way we weren't for the last operation. We have the manpower, we have the firepower. Benson, turn to your private channel. I'm here, sir. Everyone has orders to try and ID Nick and separate him from the pack, but if we can't... You understand what has to happen? I understand, sir. You're not up to this. No one's expecting you to be part of this operation. That's not true, sir. Nick is. heading towards the site. All teams check in, now. Check team, Bravo. Charlie team, check. Delta team, check. Alpha team, check. Infrared picks on 10. They're all around you. You have permission to commence. That's three confirmed down and two from Bradley's team. Five to go. So far, no sighting of O'Malley? Negative. 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 Uh, negative, sir. Just remember who you are. Hey, you're stronger than this thing. Nick? 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 Uh, I shot him with four rounds of the injectable. Uh, a double dose of the antivirus. Well, then only time will tell.
You didn't have to pull me out of a poker game. I was up 87 bucks. All right, all right. You're sitting there and looking me in the eye. And telling me you had absolutely nothing to do with the lakefront savings job. You have my word. I wasn't anywhere in the area at the time the crime was committed. Unless, of course, you can prove otherwise. Have I mentioned that that's a very handsome tie you're wearing? Don't try and flatter me, Carl. Okay. It's not exactly my taste, but I think it's just fine. Well, Mallory gained consciousness this morning. Met team's evaluation. Is that he's uh, overly aggressive, impulsive, and they recommend he be discharged from violent tendencies. In other words, they can't tell the difference. Last time I saw you, you were firing at me point blank. So you remember everything? No, I'll make pieces. But I remember coming at you. And I take full responsibility. <laughs> Meaning what? Taking full responsibility is what got you in trouble in the first place. Meaning if I lost control, if I can't trust myself, everything changes. And you need another partner. Oh, wait, come on. What you did that night isn't relevant to who you are. The throat virus takes over your rational mind. No, I don't care. Either I lost control and I tried to kill you or I didn't. Look, my impression is you knew we tried to get the antidote into you that way, and that's why you moved on me. Are you saying that because you're cutting me a break? Or because that's what you really think? Does it really make a difference? All the difference in the world. Because that's what I really think. You were never out of control. 